Welcome to Backyard Film School, where there's a little bit of Hollywood in your own backyard. I'm your host, Oliver Wea. On today's episode, I dedicate it to all you PC users out there. That's right, you can see I have brought down my Dell Dimensions computer, and today in uh, Wea Studios, we're going to show you how to make a video using Adobe Photoshop Elements. That's right, we're going to take your still photos and a photo program to make a video of them. So let's get right to work using Adobe Photoshop Elements and our PC computer. Come on. Okay, first thing we did is we made a photo album with all of our pictures. Labeled it last weekend. Then we're going to go up to Create in Adobe Photoshop's. We're going to say yes to a slideshow. That's exactly what we want to create. Okay, get rid of all the video. Notice, two second uh, static duration, two second transition. That's perfect. We're going to apply some pans and zooms, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Once we hit OK, it is going to make our video for us. And if you look down here at the bottom of the screen, it has made our video, which is excellent. Next we want to do is add music. So we're going to go up here, add media, audio. From the audio, we're going to go to the desktop, desktop um, Uncle Seth, say open. And then you will notice we now have, let's see if we can get it up there. We now have, aha, we have our music in there, which is exactly what we wanted. Now that we have our music in there, we are going to click on Fit Slides to Audio. So the slides last as long as our song. And if you'll notice, they go from 2 seconds to 2.9. We want to create a title. So how do we do that? We highlight the very first uh, photo we have. We're going to click on Add Blank Slide. And we're going to drag that blank slide to the very beginning. Then we're going to click on Add Text. And we are going to type in here, Lax Weekend. That's right, good old 2007. We will click OK. We now have created a title. Maybe we can make it a wee bit bigger and go over here to our size font. Let's try 48. Ooh, I like that much better. So now we have positioned our title correctly. We have adjusted the slides to fit and we've pretty much made a very good video in about two minutes time. One last thing to show you is how easy it is to pan and zoom with your pictures using uh, Photoshop's elements here. We have selected a picture of Uncle Petey. We're going to click here where it says start. It's green. I like that, but you know what? I think I'd like it to be a little closer. So I just grab the corner, drag it in, and position it right there so he is framed up better. If you want to watch, uh, know, learn a little bit more about framing, watch episode three. Then we go and click on the end photo, which is done in red, and we do the same thing. We're going to click on the drag. Uh -huh. So this way we don't have such a drastic change in the picture. And there we go. And it kind of even shows you over here the differences. Here we have our start. There we have our end. We could even drag the end over here to give it a little pan and zoom. And I like it. So there you go. So there you have it how to make a video using still pictures using Adobe Photoshop Elements. It really is that it's easy. And the more you use it, the more you're going to like it. If you want to see the finished product, you can always click on the website at backyardfilmschool.com to see the finished product here using the PC. If you got any questions or comments, email them to me at owea at backyardfilmschool.com. Until then, remember, there's a little bit of Hollywood in your own backyard.